How to create Google Forms Survey Questionnaire Creating a survey using Google Forms is a convenient way to gather information, opinions, or feedback from a group of people, making it easier to collect and analyze data for various purposes. So here's how we are going to do it. We're just going to open our Google and from here we're going to type Google Forms. There you go, we're going to click this one in order for us to start doing so. Now before you will be redirected to this particular page, you will have to sign in in Google. So in my case, I've already done that so I can just proceed to this particular homepage. So the way I'm going to do it is by clicking this one here, I'm going to start from the blank and this is how a blank form is going to look like. So I can just rename this one here. So say for example, it's going to be a sample survey and then I can also add a description right here. So say for example, the description is going to be a sample survey tutorial. Now here you can definitely start having your own questions. Say for example, in my case, these are the survey questions that I already have in my mind and I want to use this. So I'm just going to copy, say this one for example, I'm going to put it here. So it says here on a scale of 1 to 5 with 1 being not concerned at all when 5 being extremely concerned, how concerned are you about climate change and its impact on the environment? So as you can see, once you do that, there will be an automatic option. It's going to be like this. So 1 and 5. Now here you can see that Google automatically choose linear scale. So that is because Google have detected that that is going to be the question all about. So again, we're going to label this one here. So again, if you're going to see here, not concerned is number 1. So we're going to type the same thing all right there you go and then you'll have to set this one to required otherwise they will be able to skip this one now before we proceed let's try to see how this is going to look we can just go over here and click preview so i think it's looking good so far you people can just select one two three four five and then we're going to go back we're going to close that one and then we're going to add another thing so we can just press this one here we're going to go back to our questions here you go so here, have you made any changes in your daily life to reduce environmental footprint? So let's try to do it here. And then from here, you can see that it automatically again chooses what kind of answer type is going to be used. So here we have paragraph, but if you want to change, you can just always do so. Say for example, I'm going to choose short answer. So they will be able to have their short answer here. Again, we're going to press required for this and we're going to add another thing. So we're going to open again. So here we have different choices. So how often do you recycle? And we're going to have an option. There you go. So that's our option. So option one is going to be daily. And then you can just press enter in order for you to add another option. All right, there you go. And then we're going to proceed with another question. So still the same thing. There you go. So I've added them all. Now let's try to go here. And basically we're going to click this one again. All right, so this is how it is looking. So this is again our title. So you can just add your own title here. You can have your own description, especially if you were going to do a survey, you'll want to tell them why you are doing this particular survey. What is the goal for this and what can they offer to help you with? So let's try to scroll down and see how it is looking like. So here, have you made any changes in your daily life to reduce your environmental footprint? So I can say yes. I am using bike more often. And how often do you recycle your household? So they can just check with window following options. Say for example, if I'm going to choose monthly, weekly, or daily. And the same thing. And then I can just submit. And there you go, it is now submitted. You can submit another response, but if you want to disable this one, we're just going to close this and we're going to go to our settings. And here you can click response click that one here so you can enable collecting email this one you can enable that one and also this one you can disable this one in order for them to avoid changes after submitting their answers you can also click this one again in order for us to again limit to one response only so congratulations everybody again that is how you're going to create google form survey questionnaire as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if this helps you out.